Mommy, why does the wire look so funny? Oh my! You're right. Here, don't drink. Then they call somebody to see what's going on. We often take for granted the luxury of not having to wonder about pouring a glass of water to drink. We assume it will always be clear, clean, and safe to drink, but not so. To understand what can go wrong, we need to understand how our water system works. Bruce Rathburn, National President of the American Backflow Prevention Association, is also a supervisor of the Backflow Prevention Section with the San Antonio Water System and understands the importance of protecting the public's water. Water really only comes from two different sources. One is surface water, the other one comes from groundwater. With surface water, there's quite a bit of treatment process to go through there, where groundwater is naturally filtered and a lot less treatment is needed. The American Backflow Prevention Association is made up of a group of dedicated professionals willing to educate the public on the need to protect our most precious resource, water. ABPA provides the tools and the educational materials needed to support water professionals in the role of making your water safe to drink. As consumers, we expect safe drinking water will be made available by our local water purveyors. Once the water has entered the delivery system, our water management facilities can no longer control how it is used. Virtually anyone who uses water can contaminate it. No matter where you are or where you live, it can happen. It can be as simple as something through a sprinkler system, kids out there playing in the backyard. Getting something of a contaminant into that system can back siphon from that locale, go right out into the distribution system, and then contaminate someone's drinking water. The engineering school at the University of Southern California established the foundation for cross-connection control and hydraulic research, beginning the study of backflow hydraulics and backflow prevention assemblies. Backflow of your drinking water can bring the contaminants from your home or business back into the main drinking water line. And this could contaminate yourselves and your neighbors. Back pressure is when something inside your building forces the water out of your building back into the main line as opposed to back siphonage which is a suction out of the main line caused by either a fire hydrant being flowed a line break or somebody putting a pump on it would actually draw your water or contaminated water out of the business back into the main drinking water line Many assume water only flows in one direction. As water systems grew in size and complexity, it was quickly realized water could travel in the unintended direction or backflow. Okay, some examples of uh, how back pressure could occur, let's say you're in a 10-story building and you have what they call head pressure, a pressure created by the weight of the water. And out at the street, there's no backflow prevention device, nothing to stop that contaminated water from coming back in. The pressure of that building water would push that water back out into the main line. Let's say you're out there spraying the lawn with one of those chemical lawn sprayers, sprayers on the end of your hose, or you're filling your pool. So you're spraying it, oh I'm hungry, I'm going to go in for lunch, you lay it down. All of a sudden there's a, a break in that main line, or the fire department opens up the fire hydrant to test it. It's going to literally suck that water back out of the building. It's going to take that chemical in that sprayer, bring it into your house and into the main line. That's called back siphonage. What is a cross connection? Anytime that you take a drinking water system and interconnect it with another water system that is not designed for drinking. You could have kids playing out in the backyard, they could take a hose, put it off in a bucket. That's a potential cross connection right there waiting to happen if we lose water pressure on our distribution system. Backflow events can be generated by normal and abnormal flow events. A common example is a broken water main. This can create a negative pressure causing water to travel backwards. When a main break occurs, water can travel in a reverse flow. It has the ability to go from the site back into the distribution system, travel over to the next customer, and actually have the water and or contaminants go right back into the drinking water similar to the scenario you've seen with the little girl. Just as we have traffic laws for the orderly flow of vehicles on the road, we have cross-connection rules for the orderly flow of water. The rules requiring the installation of backflow prevention assemblies within the strategic points of a piping system to avoid backflow are not always followed and result in an accident. Our certified inspectors and backflow prevention testers must be ever vigilant 
and they struggle to keep up with the daily workload of following up on these inspections. Let's say you may have had a real estate office one uh, time and the next time it's a beauty salon requires a new site survey, meaning we need to go in and take a look at the occupancy change to determine if a higher hazard backflow prevention assembly should be installed to protect your drinking water. The rules governing cross-connection control can be confusing. The Safe Drinking Water Act holds the water purveyor accountable for the quality of drinking water but does not mandate backflow prevention. Because several types of administrative authorities are involved in the rules, there are areas of overlap and unfortunately gaps of rule coverage. Many state and local authorities recognize cross-connection control as one of many multiple barrier approaches available for the protection of their water supply. The American Backflow Prevention Association is an organization dedicated to educating the general public on the hazards of backflow through various educational events. Through proper cross-connection control, these hazards can be minimized or avoided. ABPA also works with many professional organizations to help educate them on the hazards of backflow and the solutions for the proper cross-connection control. Our membership consists of state officials, water providers, contractors, testers, engineers, students, and many others who share ideas and educational techniques to help them and you protect our drinking water. For more information on American Backflow Prevention Association, visit their website at www.abpa.org or call 979-846-7606.